Hello, welcome to Trisha's Cards and Crafts and the Fun Fold Friday. Um, today I'm going to use a, a new set from the um, new mini catalogue and it's called, the suite is called um, Poetic Expressions. Um, and I'm using the sentiments, enjoy your day and you're in my thoughts today. Um, and I'm going to use these two images and then so I'm going to use four things from this stamp set. They, I'm going to use the dies as well. So I'm going to be using, I've taken the dies out that I'm using, but I'm using the dies that will cut out the two floral images. And I'm using two, these two shapes here, which are the smallest two of these um I don't know what, what sort of shape you call them, but they're stitched anyway around them. So they've got stitching on. And because they've got stitching on, I thought I would also use for one, that's for one sentiment. And for the other sentiment, I'm going to use the stylish shape dies. And I'm, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to see how it, what it looks like. I'm either going to do, um, use just this one, or I'm going to use this one and this one so they've got the stitching on the inside as well or the dots and the stitching okay so those are the things that i'm going to be using i'm also using the um papers from this stamp set from this uh, suite as well um i can't remember what else comes with it let me just check see if i can find out what else is with it um let me just see no, I'll find it that way shop products go back poetic if I put that in search weird why didn't it come up try again sorry won't be a second there we go right you oh you also get some of these that's what comes with it you get some of these little oh where have they gone that, no that's not it well, you get some little, um, I don't think they, they're just like sprinkles. I can't see them here. I have got them, but I don't know where they've gone. They were here. Oh, here they are. They're like, um, I don't really know what you would say they're like. Oops. There go. Yeah. Champagne iridescent dots, but they're not adhesive, so you'd have to put glue down to stick them down. So they're and they're different sizes as well. So they've got they're iridescent on the one side as well. So there you go. There's the different. There's two of the larger dots. So there you go. Those are the dots. I won't be using those today. <laughs> so. I'm not sure what I've done with my tumbler. I have to find some. So I'm using some of the papers though, and these are the Poetic Expressions 12 by 12 Designer Series paper. And they come in the colours that you used Boho Blue, Bubble Bath, Lost Lagoon, Moody Mauve, Mossy Meadow, and Wild Wheat. And I'm using uh, this paper and this one, and they've both got different patterns on the back. I'm also using the other side of this paper with this pattern on it. So I'm keeping to the, the blues for, for this card. But there's lots of other um, designs in here. So you've got this one has got like a tiled effect on. That one's got a pale, it's like a bubble bath um, pattern on the back. A bit like a damask sort of thing like this one has. But this one's got the tile pattern. Then you've got this paper that's got this, again, a bit a bit like a tile, a bit art decory, 
um, blue and then green on that one. Then you've got this paper. They all look a bit like water um, wallpapers to me. Some of, well, not all of them, but most of them. And that's got this another textured sort of pattern on the back of that one with the, for different greens. That's that one. And then you've got this lovely, um, I don't know, flowers and leaves, foliages. And then you've got this pattern on the back of that, another sort of geometric -y sort of pattern. And then you've got that pattern, ge geometric -y pattern with that one that I've been using on. And then you've got this one with the flowers on and you've got this pattern on the back with different the different greens on. So that's those are the papers that I'll be using. And I'm going to make I've I saw um I haven't actually shown, seen how she's made it, but it was um Susan Campfield um has made this card. So I'm sort of following along from the directions that she gave it's going to turn out to be a five by seven card um i've done a lot of the cutting out of all the different pieces that i'm going to need to make it so i've done all the mats and layers ready um so we've got a piece of what uh, the, the base is a piece of white card and i'm using the thick um white basic white card and it's five inches by 11. Then I've got a mat of boho blue, which is four and a half by six and oh, four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And then the piece of DSP that will go on top will be, I think it's that way around, will be um, four and a half by six and a half. Then the next layer will is going to be this piece, which is piece of card which is four by six and the layers are three and a, three and three quarters by five and three quarters and this the dsp is three and a half by four and a half yes no five and a half three and a half by five and a half because it's four by six and then the last piece is three by five the layer is two and three quarters by four and three quarters and the dsp is two and a half by four and a half and then i've got some spare left over and i've got a piece of white and i've got some blue to to do the um extra pieces that will be added to it so let's get um get started so this piece is your five by eleven and you need to score this at one inch so i'm doing it on this side first so one inch and then two inches i'm just turning it around now but it's the same side so two inches, three inches, and four inches. And if you take four from 11, you get seven. So your piece, your last piece here is five by seven. So this whole piece here is five by seven. So when it's made up, it will be a five by seven card. So it will fit in a five by seven envelope. So before we go on any further, we need to I find a ruler. If I've got one here, here we go. Got two now. Right, so I'm going to mark down on that, not on the first score line, on the second one here. I'm going to mark down at one inch. Okay. And then I'm going to mark on this piece at one inch again. The next piece I'm marking at two inches. And 
I also want to mark the final piece again at two inches. There we go. Right, so I'm going to now cut. So I'm going to cut straight across from the edge to the first mark on that piece. And then I'm going to cut diagonally from this corner up to the, the mark that I made at winch from the top. So I'm going from two inches up to, whoops, one inch from the top. Then I'm going to go across from that one inch across to the second one. And then finally from this one inch mark up to the top corner on that last score line there. So up to here. So I've got, I mean, you could use a, a scoring blade, which would probably make it a bit straighter. There we go. So you've got like a step going up. And now we can fold these. So you're going to fold this one over here. Make sure you get your lines, your your paper, your card lines up along the bottom. So that's going to be your first one. If I can find my bone folder somewhere. Should have two, so I can always find another. There it is. There's one. So I'm going to mark, really make sure that's a good crease down there. Then I'm going to fold this one back on itself. So that's a bit like an accordion fold. Forward again with this one. There, and then back on the last one. There we go. So you've got your plates. Okay. So now we can start putting things together. So for the base layer I've got my boho blue and my um, DSP they're going to go on top of each other and they're going to sit on the back and I don't think I've got one here but I don't think there's anything that's left in it we'll try it we'll see if I can get some out of this Tombow so I'm just going to put the DSP onto the back thing there. sure I've got the same size as possible border all the way around and then I'm going to add this now to my base layer base piece of card there we go so that's going to go on here and again there should be similar sort of sized border all the way around. Now I'm going to stick my next layer together. So I've got four by six and I'm going to stick the DSP onto my glue. So I'm sticking to the blues because I like the blue. I love blue cut blue. So there we go. So this one's going to go on here like that. Again, if you've got a directional print, try and make sure you get them the right way around. Again, with this one, it's. I mean, it is directional, but it's not going to be the parts go up and down, so it doesn't matter with that one. And then this is going to stick onto my white layer. So try 
you get as similar sized borders all the way around. And then this one is going to fit onto there, onto that piece there. Okay, so we're going to put Tombo along this fold here. Not too much so that it will ooze out because you don't want it to stick to the other side of the card. But you want to make sure that you've got your edges at the bottom aligned. Okay, so you've got a little diagonal line that comes to there and then this one comes across. And then you've got your final layer to go on, which you've got three by five. So you've got the three layers here. So we put these together. So this is the two and a half by four and a half onto the blue layer, which is two and three quarters by four and three quarters. And then this one goes onto my three by five layer. Again, making sure I've got nice even borders around. There we go. And then again, I'm going to put glue on this panel here, which is just an inch by three inches. And then I'm going to make sure that this one again is aligned at the bottom should be okay on the side as well so that will go along there like that so when you open it up you've got your three layers like that which will open cascade open okay now for the stamping and um, decoration parts of it I don't know why that won't stand up properly. Right, so we can put this to one side now. So I've got some white card and some blue. Might need some more of the blue, but I've got plenty here if I need them. So I'm going to cut this one out of here. I'm going to stamp the two flowers that I want to use. And I, what have I done with the other <laughs> side? That's odd. Great. Oh, here it is. <laughs> and I will stamp the other one onto there as well. And I will stamp that one. So I need another piece that I can cut that out of. That's okay. Right, we'll see how we get on. Let's do some stamping. So I'm going to use, oh, I haven't mounted the stamps, but they'll be fine. I don't need to do it for this particular one. I will do it for the next time I use it, but not for today because I forgot. <laughs> I've got this small flower on there and I'm going to use this flower as well. Take the back off and I need a, a larger stamp there. Then I'm using Enjoy Your Day and that can go on here. Oh. And the last one is You're in my thoughts today. There we go. So that's my final one. So those are all the stamps I need. Oops, there we go. There we go. Right. I'm 
going to use boho blue to stamp these with. So I just need to find my ink pad. There we go. Right. So I might, well, see how this one turns out. If this one doesn't fit inside there, then I will emboss it with white embossing powder onto the blue so I think that will look nice as well so it doesn't matter which way around you do it so let's get stamping so this one's enjoy your day and that one will be yeah that's fine thank you oh no let's turn that over and start again doesn't matter too much because that's not gonna be inside there I think it might just fit I think we'll be okay so I might leave it on the white then the next one actually let me do this one first And then finally this one, whoops, you're in my thoughts, today, again, yeah, that's okay, go here, there we go, so those are all my stumps. And out of the way. So now we've got to die cut these. So that's going to go there. That one will go over there. This one will go over here. And that one will go over there okay like that just get my mini stamp and emboss because if necessary i'll just cut the bits out if it won't no it won't fit <laughs> i'll cut some of those out so this one i need that to be about there don't want it to go so I'll put some on there, oops, typical. Enjoy your day. That can come round there and be on there like that. And then finally that one <coughs> can go on here like that. That has moved. needs to be like that. Put my piece on there like that. Hopefully it won't move again. Right, I'm just going to cut around here. I'll get them in two pieces. Those are fine now. Put those to one side a second. I also need these two as well to cut out. So I need a piece of tape on there and a piece of tape on this one. There we go. Right. I just need my plates. I move the scissors out of the way. Out. Okay, out. 
whoops. There we go. So first go. I think they have to go through separately. One. Yeah, do that. Put them through one at a time. Like that piece. All my die cutting is done. Put these away. Okay. So we got this one. Just go around this quickly. Only must have been slightly out. Not too much, too bad. It's just look a little bit strange if it's. Yeah, that will do. That's fine. And this one, that's fine as well. That will be okay. And this one, enjoy your day. That looks nice. And then we've got these two to go on the back to layer them on. And the last one, this one, there. There we go. Right, so that's all my, put those to one side for now. Put those stuck with that piece. Right, so I'm going to just layer these straight on to backing pieces that one there this one onto here there we go um, I'm going to use some ribbon I'm not going to put these onto on top of that. There we go. That will do. And cut this like that. That can be like that. So that's my piece of ribbon. I'm not going to put any um, dimensionals on this because it's going, it's quite a thick card because of all the folds on there so the layers are, are already thick enough so I'm not going to use um, dimensionals on this so they're going to be stuck flat to the card so I'm going to put this on here this piece of ribbon so I'm going to put this in the middle I'm going to put some glue along there and I'm going to put this on top of the glue. There we go. And 
then I'm going to stick this on with some glue dots. So that's going to stick as well. So I'm going to use plenty of glue dots two, three, four. I'll use a couple on the middle. So that's my glue dots on the back. And that's going to go across here. That's going to lay there. And I've put this single flower on here. Like there, I think. Maybe I might just try and give this a little bit of shape just a little bit like that and I might use glue dots on the back of here one two there we go so that's going to go there and then on this one going to put that there. Actually, I think I might put this one here in the middle. I'm going to use some Tombow for this. And I'm going to put that centered there and then on this one I'm going to put another panel of white card let me just check how wide this is should be I'm going to make that's three and a quarter so I'll make it five and a quarter there so I'll have a piece that I can write on as well. Put that on there. And yeah, I'm going to use Tombow with this one as well. So this on here. And there we go. So they're like that. And then finally, I'm going to put that in the middle so I can put my, write my message <coughs> around it. <coughs> oh, got a real tickle then. Oh, sorry. Put that there like that. So there we go. Oh, it will just be seen, but it's not too bad because it's white, so it's not going to make that much difference. <coughs> so there we go. That's my card for my cascading pleats. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've got um, a five by seven envelope. Help! Oh, somewhere here. Oops. Here we go. And oops, here I think I might put this <coughs> just stamp this. <coughs> sorry, onto the envelope flap. Put that out of the way a second. Just do it in the corner as well. From here. There we go. Oh dear. Never mind. It'll be okay. I can get that off with a razor. 
Okay, so that's my card for today and envelope. So it's a cascading pleat card. And I hope you've enjoyed that. And hopefully you'll have a go at this. It's very, it's not so difficult as it looks. It's quite simple and straightforward once you realise how to do it. And uh, there you go. And I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you like the, the sweep that I've used, the papers and the stamps. So <clears throat> hopefully you will have a go at this. Again, you don't need to have these uh, die cut. You can just cut them, um, trim them down to fit whichever you want. And you can easily um, fussy cut these around. So you don't need to have the dies to go with them if you don't want them. You could use whatever dies and whatever papers, whatever stamps you like. Um, but this is just the one, how I've done this one. Thank you very much for joining me. And I hope you will join me again soon. I will be back as soon as I can. And if you need any of the... Um, products that I've used today you can find them in my online shop which is at uh, Trisha's Cards and Crafts dot stamping up dot net so Trisha's Cards and Crafts dot stamping up dot net and you should find me there okay thanks again for joining me if you liked the video please give me a thumbs up and if you've got any comments please put the comments below or you can contact me on my Facebook page, which is Trisha's Cards and Crafts, or on my Instagram account, which is again, Trisha's Cards and Crafts. Thanks again for joining me and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.